yo what is good dev guys welcome to part one of this video series um in this video i just want to go over a little bit of theory and show you guys what an asynchronous loading system is and why you would want to have it in your project now an asynchronous loading system basically tells your game to load data that is already on the disk on a separate thread than your game thread now your game thread is the main place where all your functions is running uh all the calls to move your character to jump all that stuff is is uh running on your main game thread now things like skins and loading textures you want to do all that type of stuff when it's needed to be loaded uh, on a different thread so that your game thread doesn't choke up um and how that is done is basically like blocking the player from knowing that it's happening like you don't know asynchronous loading is happening until you learn about asynchronous loading system so if i go here to this legends tab here right now if i want to go through all of these and since i've already loaded them in i already had this game open i've already hovered over these characters uh they're already loaded into memory all of these skins um but if i go deeper all of these skins they haven't been loaded yet. They're they're available. Uh, all the information about them is, is available, but they're not actually loaded into RAM yet or into memory yet. So when I click on them, you see they do this little um, uh, little uh, VFX here that kind of hides the asset loading in. If I go to something I haven't clicked on yet, you can see that uh, it, it it loads in a little bit slower. I, I don't know if you can tell, but uh, basically this. Is, uh, vfx hides that this asset is getting loaded asynchronously it's not actually loaded because if if it was loaded let's just show you an example for the banners if these banners were all loaded into memory they would just load as soon as i click them if they were already loaded into memory since i click here it would load because this points to an asset then that the asset is already loaded into memory it's not going to take your ram that long to get there like this is that is asynchronous loading right there is finding it then bringing it in finding it then bringing it in and um, a system like this is necessary because you don't want to have all of your assets loaded up at one point and uh, basically make your game seem like it's freezing or stalling or lag spikes what you uh, what players would call it um, you don't want that kind of stuff in your game so uh, you want to have an asynchronous loading system somewhere. A good place is somewhere like skins and, and uh, different, uh, like uh, how COD does their their uh, gunsmith. Like that's a good place to have an asynchronous loading system, uh, like for loadouts and stuff like that. None of these guns are loaded. They just, this just now loaded in now. Like as I'm clicking on them, this stuff is getting loaded in. And uh, back to what I was saying about unloading assets, uh, it's necessary to unload assets that are unnecessary. So if I go into here and say all of these assets were loaded just so I can have access to them when I clicked on them, and I know once they're clicked on, they're loaded in. Uh, when I go back, we want to unload all those assets to free back to memory. We're, we're not using those assets anymore. So when I go back to play, we can unload all of the uh, assets that are in memory for the legends and the loadouts because we're not using that stuff. Uh, so that's why you would want to unload your assets. And then, th like I said, this system is, is used widely throughout the AAA scene. Um, I don't think anyone loads up all their assets because get look, if we just look, it's what, six times three is 18 characters. Each character probably has 25 skins at the at a minimum. They got uh, banners, all this stuff. You, you, there's no way you can load up all of this stuff. Even this video here, there's no way you can load up all this stuff at runtime this on the same thread as your game thread like literally pressing play to get into this uh and to pressing continue when you like say if i go back to the main menu if i press continue here and everything loaded up whenever i press continue then this load would take forever because uh, all of that data would have to load up at once. But you see, it did give me a loading screen and that's because whenever I return the menu, it goes ahead and unloads everything. There's no need to have it loaded in. And when I press continue, it'll go ahead and load all the data in that I that I had assigned to my hard variables and it'll set me back up. You can see the textures still come in. They, they have to generate the uh, high definition textures. But yeah, that's basically what a uh, 
asynchronous loading system is and why you would want to have it. Um, the, I'll leave links to this uh, documentation inside the description of this video so that you can kind of review um, what we're going to be setting up and kind of get a head start on what we're going to be doing. This uh, T asset pointer has been, it, this has been deprecated or it has been deprecated yet. You can still use it, but they suggest that you use TSOFT object pointer uh, as a 4.9. Um, it's just so many places in the code where this is used that they didn't deprecate it yet. The same thing with, uh, if we go down here and look at um, this T asset subclass of, you can still use this. It'll still compile, but it'll tell you that it's deprecated. Um, instead, they want you to use T soft class pointer um, for that. For that. And we'll use those. We'll use the most updated syntax whenever we get to that point. But yeah, go ahead, take a look at this documentation, get a head start. And in the next video, we'll go ahead and get our project set up, get all of our base classes created. And then from there, we'll start coding, man. So if you're ready for that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.